Hi guys, this is Sarthik. Welcome to my channel, Let's Design Engineer. And in this video, I'm going to extend my introduction regarding the design software. So let us start with the definition of the dimensions. And here we have the definition: a measurable extent of a particular kind, such as length, breadth, depth, or height. Uh, it's a basic definition of the dimensions. And we have an example. Here we see the scale in the first diagram. I mean. We use a scale as a medium to measure the dimensions of a physical bodies. And if he, here we see a second example. Here we have a circle and a rectangle, in which uh, we have measured the length and breadth of a rectangle and the diameter of a circle and the distance between the circle and the rectangle and all. So by using a software also, you can measure a quantity. For example, this is a circle and this is a rectangle. And by using a tool in a software, every software contains different different tools, but the name changes, and the operation which will be remains same in every software. So I'll be explaining about this tool in the next uh, video while I'm explaining the software. Okay, next go to the types of dimensions, and here we have one dimension, two dimension, three, four, five, and etc. And here are the examples. Here we see the point. Point doesn't comes under the one dimension. Point point comes under the under the zero dimension because we can't specify the point. Got it? And uh, the line line comes under the first dimension, one dimension because uh, we can measure only the length. And square comes under comes under the two dimensions, length, breadth, x direction, y direction. On three dimension, cube, x, y, and z. And four dimension we have a tesseract. I don't know why they kept this name. And I have been simplified this diagram like this. It's a hypercube, and here we have a cube which is in inscribed in a bigger cube. And this, you you have seen these edges, right? These edges has been uh, attached. I mean, these edges has been linked up. So here we see a typical diagram. So I think uh, you're gonna understand this uh, cube which is inscribed in a cube. Got it? And next thing is a 5D. Mm, I don't have a diagram of a 5D, 5 dimension. Uh, if if you really wanna know about the five dimension, you can go to the movie which is called Interstellar, directed by uh, Christopher Nolan. This movie you may know what is five dimension and all and how it works. I think he explained very well in that movie. Okay, next it's an etc. Next we'll go to the definition of angular projection. The representation of a line, figure, or a solid on a given plane as it would be seen from a particular direction. I'll show an example. Here it is an object, and it is a plane. So I'm ex I'm extending all the edges, and I'm creating a 2D figure. So it's nothing but angle of projection. I mean, I'm projecting the, this object into the plane. That's it. And uh, here we have four four angle of projections: first, second, third, and fourth. And first angle projection, third angle projection. We can we can only draw in first angle and third angle projection. We can't draw in first. Uh, second and fourth angle projection and I'll explain why and first of all here we see the difference between first and third angle projection okay the object is imagined to be in the first quadrant obviously the object is imagined to be in the third quadrant the object lies between the observer and the plane of projection here we have an object observer plane of projection the object the plane of projection lies between the observer and the object here is a plane of projection here is an observer and here is an object okay got it right Next thing, the plane of projection is assumed to be non-transparent. It is non-transparent. For example, if the observer goes like this and he sees from here, he can't see anything because it is non-transparent. And here, the plane of projection is assumed to be a transparent. It is a transparent. I mean, so we'll think the plane of the plane is a transparent in third angle projection. In first angle projection, we don't think it's a transparent. And the views are drawn in the relative position. Top view comes below the front view here you see the top view comes below the front view and the right side view drawn in the left side here you have right side view is drawn in the left side and the same thing follows in the opposite manner uh, here view is drawn in the relative position top view comes above the front view here we have top view front view and right side view drawn in the right side view right side view right side view itself okay and here are the symbols it is a truncated cone so from uh, if you see from the left side you can see like this and here uh, it's a truncated cone 
the right side view will be is placed in the right side itself i mean here the left side view i mean if i am seeing from the left side it is placed in the right side got it and this this thing the right right side view is placed in the right side itself and this one in the next thing fine why no second and fourth angle projection okay this is the first angle second third and fourth got it and this is a vertical plane and this is a horizontal plane and this is a front view and this is a top view here he here it is an observer i mean observer is seeing from this direction got it so the observer is seeing from this direction so the object is placed in such a way that the front view will be in the vertical plane and the top view will be in the horizontal plane so for that reason the front view will be in the top and the top view will be in the bottom because this plane is tilted in the clockwise clockwise direction in with respect to 45 degrees like this got it so we have vp top and hp at the bottom so front view at the top top view at the bottom and the same thing if the observer sees from the left side from this side you can see the arrow right from this side so these projections are placed in the right side view so for the same reason the left side view is represented in the right side that's it if you come to the second quadrant the same thing happens but the vp and hp will be merges because i am tilting this horizontal plane to the 45 degrees in the clockwise direction so the same thing happens here right so it will be tilted in the 45 degrees direction in the clockwise direction so this vp and hp will be merges will merge together so for that reason we can't evaluate what is a front view and what is a top view so this both planes are merged so we can't draw anything in second quadrant and as the same as fourth quadrant and if you come to the third quadrant here is an observer and here you have a plane and here is an object as we seen in the difference between first and third angle projection plane in the middle observer and the object so this object front view will be placed in the bottom this object's top view will be placed in the top and this object's right view will be placed in the right view itself left view is, will be placed in the left view itself the same thing the first quadrant is quite opposite to the third quadrant okay got it but i got this point why no second and fourth angle projection why first and third angle projection why are these views are represented in such a way that uh, front view top top view down and all so got it right so next move to the next example here we see the pictorial representation front view in first angle projection front view okay top view right view got it so front view at the top top view at the down right view at the i mean right view at the right it's nothing it's like left side view is in the right side got it right left side view is in the right side that's it and in the third angle projection front view at the front i mean at the bottom of the top view top view will be at the top okay right view will be at the right got it and next thing uh, here it is first angle projection third angle projection and here is a car it's a front view okay in first angle projection front view will be at the top got it and the top view will be at the bottom of the front view okay here you see and here the left side view is drawn in the right side so here we see the chairs and all right chairs engine and all so the left side view will be placed in the right side and the right side view is placed in the left side i mean it's a back of the car it's a rear end of the car you can see it okay and here uh, it's a bottom view from the down okay this is a first angle projection and here is a symbol you got it from left side right side view okay and third angle projection the same thing the same thing has been uh, made it ulta placed left side right right side left top bottom bottom top and let us think this is a front view okay got it so top view will be the top of the front view 
here you have top view and rear view back back of the car will be at the right side and front of the car will be at the left side and uh, as usual the bottom the bottom view will be in the bottom of the front view okay i hope everybody understands this thing and this first angle projection second third and fourth angle projection how to generate views and how we should draw the views and how how to place the views in uh, in such a manner that it is a first or third angle projection and and these are the symbols and all so first of all it will be little difficult to understand what is and all so uh, softwares so you will be you will be accustomed with that. okay then thank you guys take care